What is going on, YouTube world? We are KRT Live. KRT Live is another why. Like, subscribe, comment, and all of those things. I don't know why I can't talk today. But anyway, we just finished our first maiden voyage in our new to us 100 series Land Cruiser. And man, it was a cluster. Coming up next. So, we just came back from a great uh, weekend of skiing and fun in our new to us 100 series Land Cruiser that is new to the channel. And thank you for all the well wishes and everybody who's- Yes, uh, the you know. feedback was amazing. Yes. Uh, definitely very appreciated, guys, especially in the era of social media and uh, all the hate and everything else. <laughs> so, but, oh, I don't know if we ever said the name. So we have the name for the Land Cruiser. Yes, so the, uh, so the GX was called Unicorn One. The Land Cruiser is the Black Elephant. Yes. So yeah, that is the name right now of the uh, Land Cruiser. But um, so, okay, when we got the Land Cruiser, it was in pretty good condition and it drove really, really good. Yes. And um, we were planning to slowly bring it up to speed and repair it and make slow vlogs about each and everything that we did to the car. But unfortunately, Place. life uh, changed that. Changed. So the GX was in the crash, as you all know. And that was the uh, vehicle that we were planning to take on our ski trip. And when the GX was in the accident and we knew we couldn't take the GX and it wasn't gonna be fixed in time, I had to go into turbo mode warp speed <laughs> to get the uh, Land Cruiser ready for the trip. So what did I do? Unfortunately, some of the stuff I recorded and some of the stuff I didn't record and nothing that I tried to vlog came out right. It seems like nothing went right to getting this car ready, to be honest yeah. with you. <laughs> so what did I do? Okay, so the first thing I like to do is start off with wheels. And um, starting off with wheels, I like to do things like check the tires, check all the lug nuts to make sure none of the lug nuts are over torqued, check the brakes and doing all that kind of stuff, which is very important because because I have seen people get into situations where they went to change their tire on the side of the road and their lug nut was over torqued and they couldn't break the uh, lug nut off. So those are some things that if you get a car new to you, you might really want to check. Mm -hmm. After I check those things, I like to completely swap out those wheels and go with whatever I want, typically aftermarket, typically BF Goodrich, typically KO2s, but I couldn't find any. So in a rush, I made the decision to go and uh, pick up some KM3s that were wrapped on some 18 inch level eight wheels that came off a, uh, I can't remember what year it was, um, um, LX470. Yeah, LX mm -hmm. yeah, they LX look great, I love those wheels. Beautiful looking yes. wheels, awesome wheels, but first of all, they were heavy as yes. I don't know what. They were about like 70, 80 pounds per wheel and rim. And uh, we picked them up from Alabama, drove out there to pick them up, came back to Atlanta, was so excited about them, tried to mount them on my car and they needed spacers because they wouldn't clear the hub on the front wheel. So that was a massive problem. I ordered spacers, put them on, didn't like the way it looked, <laughs> got really pissed off, sold everything and then ordered something completely different that is going to well, be coming up in the The problem is they would have looked better but we cannot lift our Land Cruiser due to you know like high restrictions on some of the uh, garages that we're going into so mm -hmm. if you would have a lifted car because the wheel would stick out that much it would look cool but yeah. because the car wasn't lifted it looked ridiculous. Yes it looked terrible. So there were other little small things that I wanted to address before we took this car on such a, a massive trip i mean there's the obvious things like you know uh oils coolant levels uh stuff like that and i did a really really close inspection of like pretty much most of the systems once i got it home and uh one of the things that was really like it gave me the most about the car was that the car drove perfectly fine and it drove and it tracked straight down the road but for it to do that the steering wheel would sit <laughs> sideways like this and i'd be like man how does this car drive so perfect and so straight but the steering wheel is sideways so I did a little bit of research and shout out to Trailbenders Overland. Um, he has this video where he had a, a 4Runner or a Tacoma or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it had a Cricut steering wheel. And there's a little trick in his video that he did that made his steering wheel go from going this way to track straight to perfectly fine straight. And I literally did exactly what he said in his video. 
and it worked. I, I was like, oh my God, I was so happy because it was, well, it wasn't really simple because I had to get a blowtorch because my uh, tie rod in was stuck. But, but after I got like the idea, <laughs> yes, the idea was stuck, simple, yeah, yes. But it was super simple and super fast. So it literally took like, I don't know, five minutes. Yeah, once I got the uh, tie rod in uh, loose so I could yeah. adjust it, it was just like was easy peasy. So I did that. Um, and while I was under there, I saw that I need I have some other suspension things that I need to address. I mean, this is a vehicle that has 390,000 um, miles on it. So I'm going to do the upper control arms. I'm going to do lower ball joints. I'm going to replace my tie rod ends. I'm going to try to salvage my rack and pinion. Hopefully I can get, it doesn't leak bad. There's a floating balloon right there. <laughs> it doesn't leak city bad. Living, you guys. City living. <laughs> it doesn't leak bad, but I hope that I can resurrect it and, you know, get everything. So I'm going to do a complete like power steering, like, you know, uh, a flush and upgrade thing or whatever. So My, not a lot of tutorials coming, you guys. Yes, there are still a lot of tutorials coming. I'm going to go back and try to revisit some things I've already done. Yeah. Uh, serpentine belt and timing belt. Check my serpentine belt. It was great. My timing belt was actually changed 60,000 miles ago. And uh, yeah, I cracked up. I popped open the little top lid, the cover thing, and I actually visually checked it. And it looks like it's in really good condition. So I was like really happy about that one. There are some weird things that I did notice though. Um, so it is, this car has no major leaks, but it has one random ignition coil that is completely different from the rest of them. Don't really know what's <laughs> up with that. But with all those things being said, this vehicle rides amazingly well and uh we drove it all the way up to it was um, it, we, we went carolina. to north carolina yeah so yeah. it was like about three and a half four hour trip in the dark one way yeah in the dark man lights suck first oh my god the light situation that's not even it was like a so let's GX talk about the lights like, GX had the same exact lights they pretty much were non-existent and you're going at night with the fog so yeah. It was terrible. It was one of the, it's some of the thickest fog that I've ever experienced while well, driving. Well, Smokies. Like, you go yeah. into, you we're know. We're going to the Great, Great Smoky Smokies, Mountains. So. And they are literally the Great Smoky yeah. Mountains, especially at nighttime. I mean, we, we couldn't even see, like, 10 feet in front of our vehicle. It was bad. It was really bad. Mm -hmm. But uh, we made it, and yeah. we made it back. And the car performed, like, amazingly well. And there were a couple of other little things that we sorted out in the process of all this stuff, getting mm -hmm. it ready. Like I said, we were trying to do the headlights. That was a massive fail. Um, the sunroof, it, it actually works now. We uh, I've been some messing grease. with it yeah. for a long time exactly. and like digging all the dirt and stuff and grime. It was yeah. It was yeah, that was that was a, that was another big situation. But we finally got the sunroof yeah. to operate and work properly. Just from greasing it. Who would ever thought that? I guess like the actual lines rust up. And that's yeah, we had to clean issue. that rust out a little first and then yeah. put a bunch of grease in it, like a bunch mm -hmm. of grease in it. Yeah, but now it tilts, it slides, it works perfect. perfectly fine, it's great. Uh, the radio just, it, the, um, it had a short cable and I fixed that cable and now the radio works perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, now we have a super bootleg Bluetooth solution in it for oh now until we figure yeah. out the better. <laughs> Probably gonna switch out the head unit somewhere down the line, but that's gonna be for one of those now. It's kind of whatever. That's all we need. Exactly. Um, so I changed the oil. I changed the filters. And that was a, another funny thing was that the cabin filter or lack thereof, there was no cabin filter in this car probably ever in its life. What? So yeah. <laughs> So there was so much junk and leaves and trash and stuff that was stuck under the cowl and like in the actual like um, blower motor area. So all that stuff had to be cleaned out and I had to pull the motor out and yeah, that was a whole nother thing. Uh, we did wiper blades. Oh my God, we had to have wiper blades. We did that on the road. But you know what I was thinking about wiper blades? Like I'll, I buy wiper blades and I never had to change them while I own the car. So it makes me wonder like the previous owner, how are they getting around with these horrible I don't know. wiper blades? The ones that they had, you couldn't see. They didn't really clear any of the water. They and just it was smudged the water around. so bad that it was just so annoying. And yeah, I don't know yeah. how people do that. That yeah. stuff drives me absolutely insane. Yes. So we did Bye. oil filters, uh, cabin filters, air filters, um, Wiper blades, we greasy drive sets. For the car. We did get good. We did get new lights, and they actually work. And they were oh. really cheap. And that's gonna be a separate video. We, I bought like the cheapest uh, lights on Amazon, and they actually worked pretty darn good. We'll see how long they're gonna last? Just yes. you know, uh, just check back with us, and we'll exactly. keep you updated. As because the other lights that we had, the uh, fodering lights on the GX, they actually had motors, and I wanted to get a, a light that doesn't have motors. So the um, headlights. The low beam headlights and the fog lights are motorless. And I just kind of wanted to see what they would do. And I also want to see what the cheapest ones would do. They so look great though. A review of those will be coming yeah. up. 
uh, grease the drive shafts, and I changed the hood struts, which was a massive thing that had to be done because, I mean, if your hood struts don't work, and then you got to use a stupid <laughs> stick to hold it up. That's just embarrassing all around. But um, with all the pressure and all the setbacks that uh, were set before us, with everything going on with the GX, I mean, I was trying to scramble between the juggling the GX situation yeah. and, like, get this other, uh, get the Land Cruiser ready for Along this Along with work, YouTube, and whatever other tasks we have. Yes, guys. family life. Um, finally got it sorted out to a point where I felt like, okay, this vehicle will be safe to drive to on the ski trip. And it actually did really good. Oh, I was super impressed. So going there as I drove and I didn't drive because I had to work and just catch up. Coming back, I drove and I was so impressed with the way that car drives. It was extremely comfortable. Man, I can't tell you how much I love the seats in this car. I keep talking about these seats, but they are so so comfortable they perfect the way they shaped for my back like i never had to adjust anything i never had to stretch nothing it was great mm -hmm. and it was a, like almost a four hour trip mm -hmm. and just the way the car handles the road there was no pro it has no power a little bit slack of yeah the transmission going up hills that's gonna be another vlog that was kind of <laughs> embarrassing but because i'm used to gx and i'm like step on it it just goes mm -hmm. but you know other than that the car did amazing and it was super comfortable ride no problems got us there and home safe and in nice comfort and mind you this is 1999. yes so the uh black elephant project 100 series land cruiser is definitely full throttle a go sorry about the things that i have not been able to vlog but if y'all want to see certain things i can go back and revisit them i promise we're not going to be always sitting over here in this kitchen you know yes this is just temporary <laughs> while all this is happening exactly so we are care to life care to life with why like subscribe comment and all that stuff Hope y'all enjoy this video and uh, yeah, let me know like, you know, what specific things y'all want to see us do that we've already like talked about because I can always go back and revisit them and show y'all specifically how I did what. Yeah, and I still want to say thank you again, you guys, for all the love and support and we really, really appreciate it. That was definitely did not go unnoticed. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>